What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, bringing you guys a brand new video. And we're going to be doing something a little bit different than the normal videos you guys see. As you know, we have a lot of fun on this channel. A, a lot of the videos are more comedic and, again, just, just fun. But with the recent events that have taken place around the CWL and just the war community in general... As far as modding, I really feel like it's necessary to comment about it, to let you guys know how I feel. Again, these are just my opinions that you're going to be hearing in this video. And again, just the effect that it's having on the war community to the point to where people are saying that the CWL is ripped. Uh, you know, that there's not going to be a season three and, you know, it's just basically a big waste of time. And when it started this season... When all this began this season was just before the War Whales uh, ban that they received. You know, that came, that hammer came down not too long ago. But a lot of people lost a lot of faith in the CWO when they basically, War Whales just got a slap on the wrist. They got a couple penalty points, whatever the hell that means. And our voices were heard. A lot of people complained about it. And people were not happy with the decision that the admins made. And the thing is, the CWO listened. They listened to what the what people had to say, what I had to say, what you had to say. And again, they investigated a little bit further. And with some more findings, they ended up banning war wills. Now, this isn't a knock on war wills at all. You know, we're going to be talking more about that later. And since then, in the last 24 hours, there was some more video... Uh, leaks footage basically that is that is well no pun intended but it's swarming around the swarm and six schlitzes which we're gonna be getting into a little bit later in the video and it's leaving a lot of people uneasy a lot of people are not happy as far as what's been going on and what people are doing is they're pointing their fingers directly at the cwl and the admins and the question I have is, is that right? Is it actually the CWO's fault that there's basically modders coming in and basically ruining the fun for everybody, that competitive atmosphere that we want to be in this fair play competitive clan or fair play competitive league, excuse me. And that's basically what it has to do with is fair play. You know, just because something's labeled as fair play does not make it fair play. That That's not how it works. Remember, actions always speak louder than words. And there's all kinds of modding clans that put fair play, you know, 100% fair play, war clan, all this shit. And again, th there's just words. It, actions speak louder than words. And again, banning clans, what has that actually done? And I've compiled a list with the help of a few guys in the clan. Shout out to Gooves, Ozil, and Rahat. You know, guys, you know, I'm always giving shout outs. And we ha I have a list here that we've compiled of all the clans that have been banned just from the CWO alone. So what we have is we have Beast Mode, who is banned. We have, um, I don't know exactly how to say it. I believe it's Omnia Vincent, if you guys remember them. And not only did they receive a CWO ban, but they also received a 14-day ban from Supercell. War Wills, and again, this is this is not in any type of order. Uh, War Wills, Golden Goblins, Quixotic Squad, German Titans 2.0, if you, if you guys remember them. Uh, seems like a long time ago. Uh, Chronos, Cromel, and not to mention others, there was a, quite a few clans that basically dropped out in lieu of getting banned, as well as Skyfall and One Hive Genesis that received that also received 14-day bans from Supercell themselves. Now, what, what, what point am I trying to get at? Some of these clans were banned from Season 1, and a lot of them, a lot of these on this list came from Season 2. And the point I'm getting at is... If banning clans and banning people actually prevented modding, okay, if it actually prevented modding, there would have been no bans in Season 2. And it has to go a little further than that. And that's where 
it, it, it's not in the control of the CWL. Remember, CWL has to act retroactively. Just by design, that's how the CWL has to work. If someone's caught modding, or if they hear someone's modding, you know, they get a, a, a tip from somebody that someone's modding, you might want to check this out. They do their little investigation, they, they figure out, you know, their findings, and, you know, they end up either banning a player or a clan, depending if leadership's involved, which is really good. But they have to act, the CWL and the administrative staff has to act retroactively. So how much blame can really be put on them? You guys really have to think about this. What Where it comes down to is Supercell. It's Supercell who has to be proactive. And Jake made a really good point in his video uh, that he released not too long ago about how much money Supercell makes and why they can't why they can't have a team of guys. Imagine how much you make at your job. If you even have a job watching this video. But for those of you that, that work like I do, think if you were paid fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars that's the lint at the bottom of Supercell's pockets. Seventy thousand dollars is nothing to a billion dollar company. And where they paid a team of people, okay, and then they paid a team of people to work 40 hours a week, you know, uh, 40 hours a week, five days, basically around the clock, got about 10, 15 guys doing this. And it, their sole job is dedicated to tracking down and finding modders and banning them. And I'm sorry, as far as Supercell is concerned, doing a one, you know, a, a, a ban wave once a year I'm sorry, but that is not going to cut it. Sending out a tweet every once in a while, reminding everyone to be fair play, that's not going to stop these modders. I mean, what the hell is Supercell thinking? I'm sorry. That makes no sense to me, and I'm pretty sure it makes no sense to you. Imagine, just think about this. Imagine if there were weekly ban waves. Imagine if they did a ban wave every single day. Could you imagine? You think people would be modding if, if they had a round the clock um, band wave going, going around? Now, I don't know the logistics. I don't know what it takes to do one of these things. But considering it's their game, they're pretty bright in my humble opinion. And I don't see how that can't, why that can't happen. Or, again, monthly, weekly, daily, uh, you know, one and a half ban, uh, ban waves a year is not going to cut it. Look at all these clans I just mentioned, and a lot of the clans aren't even on this list, that have been banned. That doesn't stop other modders. And clearly it doesn't, because again, in the last, what, 24 hours, last 36 hours, we got some more video footage released. Now, I'm, I'm not going to say his name. I will hide his identity. Um, don't want to expose anybody, but we're going to call him Duke. Okay. <clears throat> so we have Duke who comes out and literally says, I want to kill the CWL. Okay. This asshole is pissed off. Okay. The whole thing doesn't even make sense from the get go. So you, you have this guy, Duke, who's pissed off that his clan was banned. So because it was banned because of him, or, or a large majority was because of him, now he wants the CWL to burn. Does that, does that make sense to you guys? So here we have a hack, a cheater, a modder, who comes in, the lying cheater that he is, comes in, mods in a fair play league, what is supposed to be, a fair play league, but we have assholes like this guy who aren't, who taint that name and embarrass it. So we have him coming in here and he rings, you know, money for ringing, you know, cracks bases, mods, helps others mod. And the guy gets caught doing it. Again, a modder uh, uh, modding in a fair play league gets caught, gets banned so now he's pissed off and salty as fuck about it. And now he wants the Fair Play League 
at, you know, the CWL to burn, that he wants to do everything in his power to kill it. And only God knows how many more videos that, you know, this guy is going to be releasing. And it's just amazing. He, it's like he's trying to come out and act like he's a hero when all along he's not only backstabbing the, well, basically the other modders. So think about that. So he's backstabbing the people that he helped mod. And yet he's salty because he gets caught and then gets banned. So now he wants the CWL to die. Does that make sense? Does that make sense to you guys at all? And then the people are saying, oh, the CWL is ripped. Yeah, they're ripped because of people like this asshole who, who mods in a fair play clan or mods in a fair play league, excuse me. And it, it's, it's just amazing um, just what, you know, what's happened just in the last few weeks alone and what's been going on with the CWL, you know, ex exposing himself and others. Um, and it's basically for his own personal goal, not only to burn the CWL, but I'm sorry, these guys are doing it for fame. These guys are doing it for fame. You basically have, we'll hide this identity, we'll call him Schmelid. So then you have Schmelid, who's supposedly sitting on all these videos and is basically demanding subscribers. <laughs> He's demanding subscribers so he can dump more, um, more content, more people that he's helped cheat, um, basically because he's a cheat and he has been for a very long time, all the way dating back to one hive Genesis about two years ago. And he's still floating around. These guys are like cockroaches. They just, they, you know, uh, they just don't go away. They just keep coming back. Um, and you know, it's who, who, who are literally poisoning and killing mine and your CWL, you know, and the, and then these guys, it's like they're, they're poisoning the water well, drinking from it, and then they get pissed off because they get sick. It just makes absolutely no sense. So the question is, since we know the clan bands, uh, you know, obviously aren't working because people are still modding. So the question is, what do we do about it? What do we do to stop these lying, cheating hacks? And, you know, some people have suggested, um, basically some people have just said, well, you know, just ban them from the CWL, whether it's the player, uh, the player or the clan, and they can just go and start their own league. You know, a few people have, you know, suggested that. Well, they can just go start their own league and just throw them out there and they can, you know, just clash, you know, with other modders, basically. And the thing that I, I the reason why I have a problem with that it's basically on the, well, I guess we could call it the modern mentality, if you will. And it's not hard to see. The vast majority of these modders, the vast majority of these modders want attention. They crave and want that attention. That's the reason why they're modding in a fair play, in a fair play league. If not, they would have already done that. They've already had the freaking modern war league. I, I don't know the the, the M wl or whatever the hell you know and then we have guys again like duke and i quote i like to see my hits in top 10 v 10 raids what he what he's referring to is he likes watching the bases that he mods that he cracks that he's helped other people crack show up in the cwo recaps in the the top 10 town hall 10 uh raids you know the raids of the week if you will obviously they want that glory they want their ego stroke they want the spotlight so of course no one's going to pay attention to a modders league who the hell who the hell would watch a modders league that does that doesn't even make sense but no they want to come in to a fair play league like the cwl what is supposed to be a fair play league and taint it and poison it and then get caught and then get caught and then now they want it to now they want it to die it, it makes no, absolutely no sense and that's why the only way to fix this, the CWL needs to keep doing what they're doing. When they get information, when they get a tip, they do their investigations. And after they've discovered whether, you know, again, innocent till proven guilty, but until they, their investigation has come to a conclusion, whether someone's banned or not, what it comes down to is they can, again, their hands are tied to an extent. They can only do so much. I'm telling you guys. It comes down to Supercell and how much Supercell truly 
wants to police this. I mean, think about it. When you kill a weed, like in your backyard, do you pull a leaf off or do you go down and yank that weed out from the roots to kill it? You got you got you you got to get to the root of the problem. You know, pulling off the leaf is okay, well, you know, we'll ban this guy, ban that guy. Okay, leadership was involved. Okay, we'll ban that clan. I'm sorry, it's going to come down to supercell. And the best way, I I mean, basically the best way the CWO can manage this, it's basically with a band-aid. And I guarantee you in season 3, unless supercell acts, Unless Supercell really drops the hammer, the only way modding is going to stop in something like the Champions War League that everybody wants to be a part of, that at least wants to be involved in competitive war, the only way to truly stop it is pulling it out from the roots and Supercell basically increasing band waves and... The only other thing, which I believe... Now, I don't know. I'm not an admin. I have nothing to do with any talks in the CDO. They haven't even given me the freaking YouTuber. They haven't even given me the, the YouTuber color change on my name in the lobby. So I have nothing to do. I'm not a cheerleader by any means for the CWO. But I'm just calling things as I see it. But increasing the admin staff, which I believe they've already started doing, and getting the clan leaders more involved with a lot of the decisions and a lot of the voting. It's all about the people, you know, the boots on the ground. It's all about your voice. It's all about my voice. And we already know that they've listened with a couple of things that we talked about. And not only that, I'm telling you guys, if we keep pressing this, Supercell will listen. Supercell gave us friendly challenges. Because we, we um, were saber rattling about it, they made it to where there was going to be that 24 hour cooldown, if you guys remember that from the friendly, friendly challenge update. They gave us friendly wars. Who are the friendly wars for? Are the friendly wars just for your casual uh, farm clan? How many arranged wars are they going to be setting up? The friendly wars are for the war community. They did that for you. They did that for us. You guys have to remember that. And I just think that un- until something truly happens, I'm telling you, season three, when it comes around, I guarantee you it's going to happen. When season three rolls around, there will be more clans banned. You know, um, you know, sorry to, sorry to burst anybody's bubble, but, or, or uh, give you guys a news flash. But there's going to be more clan bans. I guarantee it. Unless something drastic changes, not only within the administrative staff of the CWL, again, just doing their doing their diligence, putting a band-aid on, on certain issues the best they can, but it's going to come down to Supercell. And remember, Supercell has their stamp of approval still on the Champions War League. They flew how many people? They flew how many people out to Finland for that final war, for the championship war, uh, however many months ago. They flew out all kinds of people. They streamed it live, had millions of viewers. And so they, they've they backed this up. They have backed this up. So we, I'm telling you guys, we keep barking about it. They will listen. A lot of money, a lot of money in their pockets. And I mean, something like the CWL, again, just to use them as a really good example, brought Jake back. Jake left because of these these modding assholes. That's the reason why he left for months. And the CWL is what ended up bringing him back. It's absolutely, I mean, it really is absolutely amazing what the CWL has done. Remember how wars war before. And in my humble opinion, I believe that the CWL has saved the war community to a certain extent. And I really do hope that it that they've learned from some of their mistakes. No no idea starting out starts out perfectly. So I really hope that the CWL has learned from a few of the mistakes that they've made and that going forward, they continue to make this progress and continue to constantly be listening to the people and our voices. And I'm telling you guys, they will listen. And until Supercell gets rid of all these freaking modders that want to come in to a, <laughs> into a fair play clan 
and mod and then burn themselves and burn a bunch of other people just for uh, you know a couple thousand hits on YouTube is absolutely insane. We cannot let a few bad apples ruin the bunch here. We have done way too much and fought way too hard um, to get to this point to where we are today, to where Supercell has really listened to the war community. And if they continue to listen, I think the future is very bright, not only for the war community, but for Clash of Clans in general. I'm ranting at this point. I really hope that you guys watch this video and make some comments in the comment section down below. I want to know your guys' thoughts and feelings on this. Any questions you guys have, leave those down below. And just wanted to give my opinion on all the CWO madness that has been going on, especially over these last few weeks. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. So anyway, like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always... This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.